Uh, I'm here with Sarah Powell, who's the uh, Marketing Director for Burger King at the Drum Marketing Awards. Judging session, I'd just like to get to your, your views, Sarah, on some of the entries that you've seen so far. Uh, what do you think of the standard of entries this year? Yeah, I think there's been a really high quality uh, standard of entry this year. We've had um, some very heated debates this morning about uh, all the individual entries. Uh, very good cross-section of entries as well from right across the UK, even Ireland. Um, and I think, yeah, there's been there's been some, some fantastic ideas put before us. Well, one of those... Uh Debates that you spoke you spoke about there was obviously all around social based around social media, which is obviously the big thing at the moment um, in marketing. What what are your kind of thoughts on um, how clients are using social media, and what are some of the examples that Burger King are using, and how are they getting involved with social media at the moment? Yeah, I think. I think um, social media definitely presents a lot of opportunities to, to brands and to, to individual services. Um, I think what we saw this morning, though, that w was around more less around um, using social media as part of a strategy, um, and that just potentially some people not really understanding it, the uses and the dimensions that social media give. So I suppose in Burger King, what we do is we use social media to create momentum and currency around some of the other activities that we're doing. I suppose a perfect example would be um, you know, our latest campaign, King Tasty, which um, has a, 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 you know, an element of Facebook on it. It also has an element whereby consumers can earn rewards such as t-shirts by getting their social network to view their own personalized t-shirts and they earn the t-shirt which is relating to the number of clicks that they get and views they get by their friends so they're almost putting the brand forward and recommending that that their friends look at it so it's quite a nice way of doing it so it's not us pushing them to talk about the brand it's them talking to their friends about it and then being rewarded for that as well so it's really all about engaging your current uh, your current customer base getting them involved with the brand um, and really interacting with them much more yeah and i think i think burger king is a brand that evokes a lot of emotion in people you've got the lovers you've got the fans you've got the guys who debate you know is it the best quality is it the best burger and luckily um, because we're viewed as the best place for burgers we do get a lot of positive um, feedback on the websites and on blogs as well there's a lot of discussion um, especially amongst our target audience you know the 18 to 34 year old males talking about you know the latest burger have you seen it have you tasted it try this try that um, and with have a juror way there's also a, a, which is one of our brand taglines you get a lot of people talking about going to Burger King but ask them to take off them you know the mayo the pickles ask them add this and then you've got a whole new kind of take on a whopper if you like so it's quite it's quite cool the way they're able to do that yeah. and I presume it helps that obviously Burger King King's you know, core target market, young, younger men, uh, very, um, a very kind of uh, media savvy, very much into kind of social media at the moment. Does that make make life a bit easier for you? Yes, and what what we're doing is we're we're trying to combine obviously the um, the offline with the online because what we're finding is our 18 to 34 year old males are sitting there watching maybe a footy game, but also online um, surfing the web for their next holiday. So we have to just ensure that our messages are connected online and offline. Do you, does Burger King as a company, do you have um, a kind of a social media policy in place that employees have to kind of abide by when kind of using social media sites? I mean, is that kind of cl quite closely monitored? Because we just recently ran an, an issue, uh, for, a feature in the Drum magazine and it was Coca-Cola's media policy and it was very, very good. I mean, they really uh, obviously embraced it. Um, I take it Burger King, I mean, obviously a huge international company. Do they have something similar? I'm not, I'm not familiar with the Coke policy, so I'm not, I'm not sure if... Uh, uh, what what it entails but I think you know what we I mean the the nature of the internet is everybody's free to go online and, and have their views so we have you know hundreds of Facebook pages for Burger King that we've never created and um, that the consumers have created which is great and um, so I think it'd be very difficult to limit the use of social media both externally and internally and um, but clearly you know we have to be we have to kind of cross all the T's and dot all the I's when it comes to the legal implications of, of you know, negative coverage and those things. Yeah. It must be a great position to be in, um, you know, looking after a brand like Burger King where people are so passionate and they want to talk about it. Um, it must be a very different marketing challenge for you as opposed to somebody running a brand that people don't really, you know, feel passionately about. Um, 
Yeah, it's a high interest category because it's so um, top of mind and it's on every high street. You know, last year when we ran the um, Dump a Friend campaign on Facebook, whereby you got you got to you got to get a whopper if you dumped 50 of your friends. It was a, it was a pretty big deal. Um, you know, it, it kind of changed the face of the way Facebook was was being run. So that was pulled and then it amended some of Facebook's policies. So we are doing things that are constantly pushing the boundaries, pe things that people feel uncomfortable with. Um, I suppose King Tasty is a perfect example of that as well, whereby you know people might feel uncomfortable with some of these, these ideas, but actually they're changing the way people are behaving. And they're, they're using what we tend to use as a tension, a current tension of, uh, when we're briefing our agencies, you, you talk about the tension of, you know, I'm, I'm feeling hungry, but I don't have the time, or I, uh, you know, I, I like, I like going to, I like going to fancy restaurants, but, but uh, I don't, and I don't expect, or I don't expect fast food restaurants to have really good quality food. So then, what we do is out of that brief will come like an Angus or so, so, so really premium products. So we work, we work. Um, in close in close relationships with both our customers and our agencies and finally just last question obviously the world's changed massively um, in the past few years with digital uh, kind of coming coming on board now is it more challenging for you as a marketer today um, having to worry about obviously your older above the line advertising traditional marketing and things like that and, and now the social media aspect um, to what it was a few years ago when really probably all you had to need to worry about was was advertising um, I think the environment has changed, uh, so that has meant that we've had to change the way we talk to our customers. Less so that, I mean, you know, I've never spent a year in marketing whereby I haven't had a presentation whereby there's been proliferation of TV, there's been proliferation of the internet, there's been, there's always every year um, more and more ways to talk to customers. But in, but I think it's it's almost now what we're doing is we're picking out the best bits. And it's, it's less challenging, I think it's more strategic. You've got to be clever about the, the bits that you do use. So it might be about slimming down the number of, say, press titles that you use and opening up the number of websites that you're using. Um, but the reality is the biggest challenge for us is around, you know, the recession mindset and value for money. And that then informs the, the strategy that we use from, from an advertising standpoint. Sarah, thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you.